Welcome to the Violence Party. It is the show 24 hours before our gathering for the game to death. A very special show as a way of thanking our amazing Patreons who are here today. Thank you so much for coming by. Opening contest from the Ascent Tournament winner, Liam Slater. He's had quite the the renaissance in British wrestling. Big weekend for Big Lou Nixon. We call this a prelude to destruction. As we'll see Lou in action in the games of death. For that though, how about this? The Ascent Tournament winner versus the Outlaw Cup winner. The Ascent Tournament winner earns the right to fight for the Rise World Championship. And Liam Slater, well deserving of a, a title around that waist. Lou Nixon could become a Games of Death winner by the end of this weekend as well. Only the second ever. That Games of Death tournament looking spicy, by the way. Some big names of hardcore British wrestling in there, including Iceman. The deathmatch legend who has been in there with some of the best. We brought him out of retirement for the Games of Death in 2019. And since then, a bit like Liam Slater got the itch to get back into it. And Iceman has deathmatch dreams he wants to fulfill tonight. We'll be seeing the likes of Danny Darko. Another favourite of the Rise Hardcore Division later on tonight too. In the Games of Death tournament. And the man opposite Liam Slater right now, Big Lou Nixon. Very different style of match that Lou is going to be having in the Games of Death. This is, this is Lou proving actually that the time he's been away, he's he's really adapted his style. He's really got into his mixed martial arts training. He got sponsored as an athlete and has had chance to prove that not only can he, he swing a good light shoot, but he can, he can ground and pound with the best of them. And Liam Slate is very aware of that. Not many encounters, if any at all, we've seen between Liam Slater and Lou Nixon. And Slater, whilst isn't the, the typical hardcore style wrestler, He's a great fit for us here at Rise. Love from the Rise faithful for Light Tube, Lou Nixon. Well, thank you for supporting us here at Rise. You can do so on our Patreon, just a two count. Patreons get extra matches. Put on special Patreon shows. Come along as a Patreon and get up close and personal here at the Eiger. Heavy strike by Lou Nixon. Wearing down on Liam Slater. Lots of proof for Slater in this one. As the winner of the Ascent Tournament, it's one thing. You know, that title match, well and truly in the bag, but got to stay on top of your game and, and Lou Nixon's really been on a tear. In fact, I'd say Lou Nixon is possibly the most dangerous man in the games of death tomorrow. There is, there is something about Lou Nixon in this tournament and there's something about Lou Nixon in general. He's just been absolutely on the greatest of form. 
you see these strikes here landing flush. Nice transition. To a half crab and the rope break. They're going to call it. No way the uh, no, nowhere near the, the hardcore nightmares that we're going to see in front of our very eyes in the games of death tomorrow night. Slater seems to have Nixon on the. This is when. This is where Liam Slater's going to benefit if he has Lou Nixon on the ground. Shin breaker, nailed it, and this is dangerous for Lou Nixon to be competing the night before the games of death. Because Lou Nixon's got a big night tomorrow night in the Games of Death tournament and he doesn't want an injury from a very, a very capable Liam Slater to put pay to that. Great transition into a half crab by Lou Nixon. Slater turns it into a pinfall. It's two and a half. Oh, and look at that speed of Slater immediately going for the takedown once again. He's smelling blood in the water. There'll be blood on the canvas, no doubt, tomorrow at the Games of Death. Lou Nixon a part of that, along with former Rise champion Big F and Joe. We're going to see Iceman in action. We're going to see Danny Darko. We are seeing the Rise debut of Schlack. We'll get a little taste of what is to come in the tournament. Casanova Valentine in the mix for it as well. Some big hardcore names and some big grudges to settle in the game to death. It's a two count on the German suplex. Solid technical encounter. I think this is filling our wrestling quota for the weekend here at Iger Studios in Leeds. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've not seen it yet, but I'm pretty sure you're not going to see a whole lot of headlock takedowns and Greco-Roman body throws during the deathmatch tournament. Wouldn't expect any less, though. Nixon holding that leg, and as I said a few minutes ago, a concern for Big Lou Nixon would be to go into the games of death tomorrow with that injured wheel. Last thing he needs, especially when his kicks are so dangerous. His punches are pretty dangerous too, as he's looking to muscle over. But Slater turns it into a short power bomb for the two. Liam Slater's journey back to the world of British wrestling, a world that he left behind. And roads lead to the violence party tonight for Liam Slater. strikes and a low kick takes down Slater and a kick to the back of the head that might have knocked Slater out actually two and a half only just two and a half rise faithful loving the action here tonight at the violence party the night before the Games of Death. A full roster packed into Leeds for the weekend. You know the Rise World Champion Gene Money is here as well. The Rise Hardcore Champion in the house as well. Some of the greatest deathmatch wrestlers that 
this side of the Atlantic and the other side of the Atlantic has ever seen as Slater and Nixon five for a suplex small package by Slater it's two and a half both men go round and round on this one victory roll leads to victory no look at that what a transition Lou Nixon with that rear naked choke he's been unstoppable with that move and he gets the win that rear naked choke that served Lou Nixon so well in the Outlaw Cup just put Liam Slater away in our opening match of the Violence Party now for Lou Nixon, eyes are on the games of death. A warm-up, a tune-up that he comes out of pretty much unscathed. I think he's going to be ice in the leg over the next few hours. Slater did quite the number on it. Big respect there. Lou Nixon, a very, very different athlete to the one that we saw before lockdown. Or quarantine. Could this be the weekend that Lou Nixon rises to the very top and wins the second ever Games of Death? He will swap leg locks for light tubes tomorrow night here at Iger Studios. Slater is about to take his leave and Lou Nixon invites him back. Thank 